Hello, my name is Tony Malidi and I'm one of the founder members of a Carbon Happy Footprint of Carbon. I came up with this idea after I left college. I was studying forestry and I discovered that most of the guys didn't know the names of the basic trees in our environment. We had to obviously study them and learn about them and stuff like that, but at the beginning they didn't know the names. I thought about it and then I inquired you know, the children and adults alike and discovered that they didn't know the names of most of the basics of trees. So I thought it had to be a better way of getting people back interested in trees. So I came up with two concepts at the time. One was the Tree Shepherd Project, which I run for schools, and also a Happy Footprint of Carbon. Now, a Happy Footprint of Carbon I came up with when I was sitting in my back garden. I was sitting there and I looked down at it an old pot where I had an old boot sitting on it and there were strawberries growing out of it. I didn't throw that boot out because I had a lot of happy memories about that boot and I just kept it as a keepsake and I planted a strawberry plant in it. Then I just had a great idea. I just remembered people always going on about uh, the carbon footprint in the world and the damage it's doing to the world and everything like that but it's an invisible thing and nobody can see it really as such. And I looked down and I said what if I came up with a footprint of carbon? The footprint being the, sh the boot, the carbon being the tree grown up in, in through it. You could actually have something that's doing good in the earth and getting people back interested in trees. When I was going along with the idea, I met up with a guy called David McNamara who developed websites and he's a big interest in trees as also. So we got together and we've put this website together. Now, the idea of it is, it's a sustainable, environmental friendly way of getting people to plant trees and get children back interested in trees. The idea is, you plant a tree through a boot or a shoe, the roots are in the pot, the shoe sits on top of the pot, of the soil, and the tree grows up through it. The shoe will eventually disintegrate and the tree will grow on. Now, the whole idea of it is, people go onto our website, and register the tree and their boot. They have their own page and they take photographs and they put them up on their page and they tell a story. It has to be a happy, nice story or a happy memory of somebody. And they put it up on the website, then people can visit their page, look at the happy story, see the tree, and then if you want to, you can add photos to it yourself or you can add stories, whatever you like to do then. It's your page. It's all free, you register for free, just tell us your story and we'll develop it from there. But the whole idea of it is trying to get people to do this all over the world. If communities or councils or people want to get a little piece of land that's just going to waste and to get people from their local community to clear it up and they start planting trees on it in their shoe and tell the story and they register it on the website, we'll have that marked on the global map each tree will individually be numbered and people can go into that little piece of the park or woodland in time and they see this oak tree grown. The shoe may not be there anymore but they'll look it up and they'll have the number and they'll be able to see the pictures of it originally when it was a small tree growing and they'll know if it belonged to John or Mary or whoever and they'll know the story and the happy memory of that so the whole woods will have a, every tree in the woods will have a story for everybody and we're trying to gather stories from all around the world and get people interested in trees because uh, there's an awful lot of beautiful stories about people that are being forgotten and we'd like to collect them and let people read about them and make people smile again while doing a very nice thing for Mother Earth by planting a tree and helping the world breathe a little easier.